This is what's called a Holt head collar, and this is a great tool for walking your dog. Um, very, very relaxed walk. Um, the way it comes, it comes just like this, and when you take it out of the package, it's already buckled like that. I always like to have people kind of hold it up just like this so you have an idea of kind of how it works. Your dog's nose goes through here, the uh, rear end is this way, okay? And what's gonna happen is you're gonna unbuckle it just like that, okay? Your dog's nose is gonna go through here, and then what's gonna happen is this will go around the back of your dog's neck. You'll buckle it just like that, okay? Just like so. So here's how you put this on. Again, you unclip this just like so. You're gonna put this around his nose just like that, okay? We're gonna wrap this around. If you can see, you can clip it just like so. Okay, just like that. Now what I want you to do is I want you to see how this thing fits. If this is too loose, I like to put about two or three fingers back here, and if that's okay, that's great. If not, you just take this right here and you're able to adjust it using, um, using this right here. You can basically make it either bigger or smaller, and stuff like that, okay? Also, what I want you to do is take a look at this cam lock, okay? This cam lock actually slides down. If your dog has a large muzzle, um, you can slide it down and lock it just like that. And as you can see, a lot, of, a lot of room there. If you want to make it a little bit tighter, you can slide it up a little bit, just like so. It's important that your dog is able to still open his mouth and pant, okay? So you don't want to make it too tight. So I always like to keep it just a little bit loose so your dog can just basically um, open his mouth, he can pant, okay? And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is this clip right here is gonna to go to your dog's actual collar. And the reason is, is that if for some reason this, this, uh, this whole head collar comes off, you still have it attached to this. And the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is attach this to here, the leash, and you're good to go. Okay, so you've taken a few sessions, you've taken some time and gotten your dog used to the head collar inside the house. Now you're gonna bring the dog out here. Now the last thing you wanna do is let your dog start walking because the dog still is not familiar with this. So what I recommend you do is starting off very slowly, walking very slowly. Remember that your dog's positioning is gonna be a little bit in front of you, okay? Just like this, okay? But as we correct the dog, remember, just like that. Very, very easy correction. As a matter of fact, it should all be done with one hand if it's done the right way. Dog's always going to be about a foot or two in front of you. Just crack and bring him right back like that. Start off very, very slowly, walking very, very slowly. Okay? Very, very good. That's a good boy. And it wouldn't hurt to take some treats and every once in a while and you know, pop the dog a few treats even outside here. Not all the time, but just for, um, for accepting the collar.